guys, I'm trying. Sycamore and welcome back and happy last day of recognizing computer science education week. Today is Friday December 9th and let's get started with this episode of our daily video announcements. Hi I'm Violet. Let's all stand. Please place your hand over our heart and join Mrs. Spielman's flex bell as we honor this country while saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which And please be seated. Keep doing the right thing to earn those PBIS first class tickets. Take it um, towards your next incentives. Yes, keep do choosing to do the right thing everywhere and anywhere. Yes, good choices are happy choices and help lead us to positive, productive, and successful lives. Teachers, keep doing your amazing work and to pr keep promoting awesome choices with PBIS first class tickets. Okay, mark your calendars. Good luck to everyone audition, auditioning for Footloose this coming Monday, December 12th, and Wednesday, December 14th, after school from 3.15 to 5 in the choir room. Computer Science Education Week is winding down. Make sure you complete your hour of code to join the Computer Science Education Week's mission to help raise awareness about computer science education. Let's see more coding goals and careers. I think 19th century was about the industrial revolution, about electricity, about disrupting the agricultural society and making it more advanced. The 20th century was about physics and engineering, to do more things easier in our everyday life from refrigerators to washing machines. How convenient. And the 21st century is definitely the digital age, it's the internet. Even if you want to become a race car driver or play baseball um, or, uh, you know, build a house, all of these things have been turned upside down by software. The Lettuce Bot is a robot that can sense its environment every single hour. This Lettuce Bot is seeing 1.5 million plants and it's taking individual action on those plants. We enable lettuce growers to have higher yields in their field by helping make it cheaper, by helping produce food in a more sustainable way. And that wasn't previously possible without computer science and technology. It's really exciting right now. The technology that we're developing right now is going to be used by your doctor in, you know, in the next decade. When you come into the office and you're sick, now the doctor is going to be like, all right, you know, spit in this cup. <laughs> and I will put it into this magic machine, which is the sequencer. And in an hour, I can tell you what you have or what's wrong with you. So if we're looking for a new virus, for example, we'll download a database of all the viruses that are known and we'll search for you know, our sequence of interest against a whole database of all viruses. So you still need somebody to analyze the data. <laughs> the computer is not smart enough yet. <laughs> our software helps people save energy and thereby reduce their carbon emissions. To date, we've saved over eight terawatt hours, which is the equivalent of about 1.1 million cars on the road. When you're forecasting the wind, there's so many different parameters that go into it. It would be impossible for a human to sit down and do all those calculations. We need a computer model in order to forecast it. The merging of art and technology is getting more and more significant now. Because computers and software are such an integral part of our lives day to day, people are realizing that it can be quite creative to take this medium of computers and create incredible works of art. In Finding Nemo, when Crush and Squirt and all the friends are flying through the East Australian Current, you're seeing images of water flowing by, you're seeing the colors on the back of the turtle, you're seeing the sides of the fish. 
All of those things are generated through math and computer programs that we write that we then give to the artist and they take that to, to create that final image and tweak it and make it look beautiful and look fun. The crux of it is really about invention. It's about looking at the world and, and being dissatisfied with things and questioning everything. I always felt like if I didn't learn how to program, it, it would be like not learning how to read. You know, the, the, the future would just be closed to me. If you're in the coding profession, there's so many things that you can do and you can pretty much pick and choose the course you want to be in. I think that I mean, you can start something in you know, your college dorm room and you can have a set of people who haven't built a big company before come together and build something that a billion people use as part of their, their daily lives is, is just crazy to think about, right? It's really, it's humbling and it's amazing. Really, it's about the chance to reinvent things and then see it out there in the world and see people using it and having fun or having a better life because of something that wasn't there before that you put in the world. Amazing! Computer science and coding is part of so many jobs and things that run companies and our world. Wow! Alright, creative writers, you've heard this multiple times, but the December 14th deadline is for Mo Montgomery Women's Club Creative Writing Contest is next week. Get your items turned into the Google Classroom. Again, code is PGHDLQA. And make sure to turn it in before next Wednesday. I'm back with a big announcement, but first, for our survey, we actually have, we have tied results. Here they are. Phase three and five have tied for first place, so we will be extending our time of collecting survey results. We had over 80 responses. That's amazing, Sycamore. Let's get more responses and break this tie. I will see you guys soon. The Winter Dance is next Friday, December 16th. I'm going. Are you going, Emily? I am. Students, get to wear your outfit. Get your outfits ready for next week because Monday is pajama day. Tuesday, you get to wear your holiday headgear. Wednesday is candy cane day. Wear your red, white, and stripes. Thursday is ugly sweater day. And Friday is Winter Wonderland Whiteout Day. You can wear your Winter Wonderland colors, which are blue, white, silver, and more. Hey, Violet. I have a question, and lots of my friends have having it, too. Do we dress formal or not formal for the dance? We have been communicated to, with by Mr. Cole that the dance is casual, but if you wish, you can choose to dress formal. Thank you. Oh, and note to myself, get my festive spirit wear ready for next week. Next up, we have a message from Noam and Danny. Playing trash, kid ball. We're playing trash, kid ball. Hey guys, it's Danny and Noam back with Trash Kid Ball. Remember guys, Trash Kid Ball is starting up and we need more people to join. Remember, the winners of Trash Kid Ball get candy for their whole entire classroom. The way to, to way to the way to join is to sign up on a Google form that Mr. Cole sent out to all your flex teachers. Hope you enjoy. See Bye. ya. Bye. We're playing trash kid Trash kid ball. Thanks, Danny and Noah. <laughs> and now it's time for the fact of the day and quote of the day. Did you know that crying helps release endorphins that decrease emotional and physical pain that actually improves your mood? Wow, is that why we cry when we are hurt or sad? Now, here's a cool quote by Abraham Lincoln. I destroy my en enemies when I make them my friends. That's very interesting. What a neat way to improve a positive life. If you make friends with your enemies, everyone will get along with everyone. Thanks to Abraham Lincoln for his wisdom. Next up... National Day! Today is National Pastry Day. I love pastries. Scones, pies, tarts, donuts, croissants, danishes, and scones. I could go on and on. But what is a pastry, Emily? Pastries are baked food made with dough of flour, water, and shortening that may be savory or sweetened. Sweetened pastries are often described as bakeries confectionery. 
Nice. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, now moving on. Keep his student council shoutouts coming in. We will be sharing them soon, and it is a nice way to recognize your peers and staff. Fill out the Google form posted on SJH News Crew Google Classroom. Yes, we will take your responses and add them to the video announcements very soon. So, make sure to take your time and add a shout out for some of your friends and or teachers. Next up, happy birthday to Eva S. and, and Anthony C. who are celebrating today. And celebrating over the weekend, we have Shia C., Ethan C., Jessica L., Riley H., and Miss Solomon. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. Hey, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Take a little break the uh, next couple of days. All right, Running Club, don't forget, you're going to have your meeting on December 20th um, after school in the Media Center. So if you're interested in Running Club, please see Mrs. Beatty. International Club, you're going to meet today in the Media Center after school. So uh, International Club, you're going to meet today in the Media Center after school, and your focus country is Israel. So that's it for me. Nice, short, sweet, to the point. Hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Now for the joke of the day. I was wondering why the Frisbee was getting bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> I, I am so grateful for such a wonderful school to go to with all of my friends. Thank you for all of the wonderful staff and students. Yes, I agree. And remember to always be grateful for all your opportunities, Sycamore, and choose to do great every day. That's right. Always smile, be great, and stay positive. Be yourself because everyone else is already taken. And go Aves!